Which dog food tastes the best? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And good mythical welcome to our dogs. This is Jade, if you don't know her. And this is Barbara. And they are their best friends. Yes. Isn't and that sweet? Both of them have demonstrated a propensity to enjoy the food that we eat. Uh, if we offer them food from the table, they will take it, but we usually don't do that. Mm -hmm. But Barbara will often just get on the table and begin eating a human meal herself. Uh, and that got us to thinking, they like our food, but do we like their food? There's only one way to find out. It's time for Who Ate the Dog Food? It will be us! So even though our dogs are here, we are gonna be the ones tasting the food in order to determine which dog food is the best for them to ultimately eat. Yeah, because that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and we pulled together a list of the top selling, top rated dog foods available on the market, and everything we selected is available at a major retailer, like Amazon, Target, Petco, PetSmart, so none of that $100 a bag special order stuff for this test. Right, and because every dog is different, there is no definitive list of the best dried dog foods you can buy, uh, but we looked at products that came up multiple times on best rated and best selling lists, and the winner of our tournament will be crowned Dog Food Brian. Yes, I'm hungry. Okay, here we have the I Am's Mini Chunks Chicken versus the mm. Taste of the Wild High Prairie. Yes, Iams is the number 10 bestseller on Amazon. 3.5 stars out of five, I guess, on the Dog Food Advisor. Uh, that's Dog Food Advisor? I'm always on that site. Okay. And this is also the cheapest of all the dog foods that we let's will say most be, affordable. That we'll be sampling, most affordable. All right, so uh, let's go in like dogs should, I guess. I don't wanna get too much. I got too much. I got, I got, got a big bite. I just need some. This is supposed to be the taste of what? Chicken? I don't taste any chicken, I'm gonna say that. Farm raised chicken. Can you taste the farm? I, I do taste I, farm. I taste farm, it's like going onto a random spot of a farm and just biting the earth. Maybe the high prairie is better. This thing, um, on the packaging, <laughs> it has wolves stalking oh, bison. You don't like it? It's horrible, it's man. It's not that bad. The aftertaste is is really wicked. I think I got all I need. Um, <coughs> but there is venison and bison in this thing. Good. So we're just getting started, man. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to adjust my mindset. Bigger chunks, one one particular color. Your glasses, they poke me in the eye. Can you take your glasses off while we eat like dogs? Then I couldn't see. You know how dogs like to see. Um, this one's not as crunchy. So there's less excitement if I'm a dog. This one's think, got more like organ, organ, mm -hmm. organ meat, like bison organs. Oh gosh. But here's oh. the thing, I think dogs would like that. Are we voting for what we like or what we think that dogs will like because it's more pungent? Oh gosh, it's horrible. Hold on, I thought we were talking about the one we like the best. Okay. I mean, Barbara's always trying to eat my food. True. She likes my taste. That yeah. tastes like crap. This one, um, I don't dislike it because <laughs> I think I'm just, uh, I think I have a problem. <laughs> But I agree, the IMs should move on. Yes. Okay, next up we've got pedigree, chicken, rice, and vegetable versus blue buffalo wilderness, chicken, rice, or chicken and brown rice. Uh-huh, um, doesn't look like chicken and brown rice, but this is the number two on Amazon. Incidentally, okay. in the last round, we eliminated the number one bestseller on Amazon. That's right, dog's got horrible taste. Uh, but on Dog Food Advisor, this thing's got four and a half stars. So mm. um, there's deboned chicken, chicken meal, and fish meal in this chicken and brown rice Chicken flavor. and fish meal? Let's dig in. Both oh, meals? Oh, there's a there's a little little dark thing. I think we gotta, we gotta get one of those. I'm so. gonna get one of those. Then I'm gonna get some of the- You're preloading? The little black turd looking thing, like a little rabbit turd, is very crunchy. This one's good. Wow. It's, it's good. Now, this one has different colors and different shapes to like excite your dog, but apparently dogs did not respond well to that because it has one star on Dog Food Advisor. Ooh. Um, but I kind of feel like I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna get one of each color. You got a little star shaped. Oh, a green, green one. Green, you got red. Orange. And you got this. Brown. And just pop them all in. And when I said this one was four and a half stars, I actually said that as if it was a bad thing for some reason. Like, well, one star would be good. I don't know why. This is good. I think we all knew that it was good. Oh. It's just the way your brain works. <laughs> and they're complete Backwards. opposite of anyone else's. Mm. 
Very crunchy. Bigger chunks. Hmm. The taste is slow to hit me. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something released something. <laughs> one of the colors released something. Does that not happen in your mouth? Oh, I didn't get one of the stars. Yeah, the stars got something in it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. They're all the same, dude. They're just different shapes and colors. You think it's like Fruit Loops? Yes. It's all, it's all a hoax in, in my mind. This one's good. Yeah. This one's great. I don't think that's bad. I like the colors, but I agree. Blue Buffalo moves on. Okay, so here we have Purina One Smart Blend Natural Adult Dry Dog Food Lemon Rice Flavor versus Wellness Core's Chicken and Turkey. Uh, interesting fact about this one is that the Purina contains a lot of corn, which is a controversial ingredient in dog food because uh, they don't like to put a bunch of cereal grains in there. It's two stars on Dog Food Advisor. Now, which this raises the question, how are they getting these ratings? Are people surveying their dogs? Are people doing what we're doing? I think they're like looking at the ingredients and stuff like that, but they're not sitting there eating it. So now there's two different colors. We should be hired. And then there's this weird malformed like actual piece of meat. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of those. Yeah, come, come. Mm. I ate dried dog food in high school to uh, impress uh, my neighbor, Clyda. Remember? Oh, she's remember a couple of years Clyda. older. I remember I was, Clyda every other day. I was hanging out at her house and she had some oh, milk, milk bones. I was like, you dare me to eat that milk bone? Oh gosh, that piece of meat, that's real meat. Yeah, that thing that wasn't a particular shape. Oh, it's like, <laughs> this liver. It's how are you enjoying this? What is wrong with it's you? It's very man? mushy. I don't know. It's like it bypasses the the negative experience part of my brain. Were you dry? Taste buds. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's how I got the ladies in high school. Food. I don't remember you getting any ladies. That's true. <laughs> getting Clyda. I, I did remember her being your neighbor, and that was it. Um, it tastes like. Oh um, gosh, the dogs would love that, but I hate it. I don't think it's bad. I think that this is gives them a sensation of eating meat. Yeah, I think that's great, again, but that's not what we're doing. We're yeah. figuring out which one we like the best. All right, so now let's dig into this turkey and chicken. Um, Gosh, this is five hell. out of five stars on Dog Food Advisor. Mm. Uh, it's got turkey and chicken combined with real vegetables, essential vitamins, and minerals. So it should be healthier for them. It's all uniform, too. Now, it is the most expensive of all the ones we're gonna try this morning. Again, this is not bad. When nothing weird happens and nothing putrid is released, which again, I think is what a dog wants. What a human wants is nothing putrid being released. <laughs> what? I actually think the aftertaste on this is a little odd. It does get a little strong. I like this the soft in, meatiness of some of that, but I can't. I, you I, hated I, I it so much. It down. No. I didn't dislike this either. Mm. So let's move the wellness core forward. Okay, we've got Hills Science Diet Adult Sensitive Stomach and Skin Dog Food versus Trader Joe's Wholesome and Natural Dog Food Formula Lamb and Rice. This is lamb and rice. Are you saying that this is stomach and skin flavored? Yeah, it has real stomach and real skin. <laughs> uh, this is the you know if you're sensitive, that's what you want to eat. Number five bestseller on, on Amazon, three stars on Dog Food Advisor. There's a whole lot of science that goes into this. I'm not going to talk about it, but basically they've really engineered this for the sensitive stomach and for the skin, which is you know well I, they better I'm concerned about that for myself. It better be sciencey because it's in the name and it's also little. That's a fun little ball. I can taste the science. I, I'm, mm. I, I'm just, as I, the aftertaste is really giving me. It's not, it's, it's not me. great. It's not great. It just tastes like, it tastes like it's doing something for you. All right, so Trader Joe's has created uh, this wholesome and natural dog food. Oh. You know, they want you to think everything they do is wholesome and natural. Right. But it has three and a half stars on Dog Food Advisor, so it's not knocking the roof out of that. It's better than this one. Um, but let's just try, get some, let's get some essence of lamb and rice. It smells like school supplies. Oh gosh. It's not that crunchy, it's, it's, there's a lot of air in there. It doesn't taste like any kind of food. There's nothing food, oh gosh. How are you getting all this down? I'm worried about you and your sensitive stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, That's a, it is a good point, I could just spit it out after tasting uh, That is real bad, Trader Joe's. It's actually, it's nothing actually wholesome the, about it at all. I would say it is the most bland dog food we have tasted. Mm. 
It's almost bland to the point of bad, though. Mm -hmm. Like, like I, there's nothing enjoyable. There's nothing redemptive Doesn't taste about like it food. at all. We're going with science. Definitely. Okay, now we're on to the semifinals, and I'm so glad we did this as a tournament so we get to eat all these again. <laughs> <laughs> and again. Yes. <laughs> all right, and, but you know what? Let's mix it up. Sometimes if, if I need to feed Jade something she doesn't want, like I gotta hide a little pill in something, I feed it from my hand. That sounds like so much fun, Link. <laughs> Um, here, here. Let's do it in. Let's do it in unison here. Mm. Again, I'm not getting any chicken. Same experience as last time. Really? Not, but we, but we got to keep eating it. Not horrible. It's like it's tolerable. So that's why it's here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, since that having you move your face all around my hand okay. was so fun the first time. Crunchier. This one's better. That one's got. Mm -hmm. That one's got straight up organ. Yeah, yeah. I can taste the insides of another animal. Add some milk to this, and I could probably. Uh, this could pass get, a cereal. Get it all now. Moving on. We got some science diet over here, but let's start with the wellness core. Just you know, doesn't it make it better to eat it out of my hand? Oh uh, nope. Why's my hand wet? What because are you doing? You gotta put more food in it so I don't so I don't make skin lip to skin contact. <laughs> okay, glad. See how much I put in there for you? I didn't want you to feel like you had to eat it all. Am I getting a chocolate overtone? Is there a note of chocolate? I call it an undertone. Yeah, it has a, it, it has a chocolate note. And then it gets really dark, like a movie that you didn't know was scary. All of a so sudden, dark. it's like I'm in a scary movie. Like when I took my wife to see Get Out, and she leaned over. After 10 minutes into the movie, she's like, hold on, is this a scary movie? <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, you haven't heard about Get Out? <laughs> she didn't oh. walk out. <laughs> she on. just readjusted her expectations. I'm still kind of liking that one. All right, fine, I'm gonna give you plenty this time. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't aim my hand while I'm... <laughs> I noticed. There's almost a sweetness to this in compared to that. I still like it. I don't need to swallow it to find out. This is good. I mean, this is like, this is like party bowl material. Yeah, I think you could set that out next to some wings and some jalapeno poppers, and people be like, "Oh, what is this?" You're like, "Oh, it's just it's science. Just eat it. <laughs> it just, moves just, on. Just have a few." It all comes down to this. I am's versus science diet, and uh, since this is probably the last time I'm going to be eating dog food for. 2019, maybe we should make it fancy. We have made it fancy. I think the thing that I've discovered is, as long as it's dry and crunchy, I can pretty much eat it. I don't hate this exercise. I think this says a lot about you. But I don't know if this is gonna be able to beat this, because this is this is the third time I've eaten this, and I'm still on board. I still don't enjoy myself while I'm eating it. I'm gonna spit it out, because I feel a brick forming in my stomach. No, those are the prebiotic fibers. It's gonna it's gonna help your sense. Prebiotic of fibers? Yeah. Yeah, they're prebiotic. They're not probiotic. I don't know, man. So so similar. I feel like we got two very similar things. It can't be easy at the top. I mean, to me, it right. comes down. The taste is super similar. I think it comes down to mouth feel and just overall entertaining experience. This one, ironically, is more exciting. I know it's super uniform and it almost seems like grape nuts. Yeah. This one's two different uh, colors, but there's just something very appealing about this. And I like anything that has science in the name. And the dog is so cute on the packaging. Look at that. So I think even though Ames uh, get, gave it a run for its money, I think we have to crown Science Diet as the best dog food according to two Nimrods on an internet show. Maybe your dogs will agree. <laughs> Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Lucy, and this is Theo and Ruby, and we're from Carver, Massachusetts. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Click the top link to watch our mythical dogs eat the winning dry dog foods and play a science kit for dogs. What? And good mythical more. Until, Until the next LTAT, keep on BYMB. With the Let's Talk About That logo mug. Available now at mythical.store. F-O-S-H-O.